Our topic for today is rational functions. And when we talk about rational functions, we know what rational numbers are, right? Just negative and positive whole numbers, including fractions and so on and so forth. So today we are, we are going to talk about how polynomials also form part of what? Rational functions. So as when I have 2x plus 1, which is a polynomial of degree 1, divided by x plus 5, okay? So we can say this is also a rational function, okay? And we can find the zeros of this function or the largest possible domain of this function. And we've been able to talk about the largest possible domain of a function already, okay? So assuming I have a function p of x to be equal to 3x minus 1 over x plus 1 and x minus 5. And I ask you to find the largest possible domain of this. So you can tell me the largest possible domain is equal to x such that f belongs to all real numbers except when the denominator is zero. So the denominator becomes zero when x is equal to negative one, except x is equal to negative one and um, positive five, okay, respectively. So these are the numbers that will make this function p of x undefined. Now, as we ask you to find the zeros of p of x, okay, so what value will make this function zero? So zero over any number, you know, zero over any number is what zero. So what will make the numerator zero? So when I have three x minus one is equal to zero, three x is equal to one, x is equal to one over three. So you realize that when x is one over three, the whole of this function becomes zero because I have one over three, three will cancel three, one minus one is zero. Zero over any other diamond here becomes zero. Okay? So the zeros of this function, so the zeros of p of x eh, is equal to the zeros of p of x is x is equal to what? 1 over 3. So for when x is 1 over 3, we shall have the zeros of this function. Now, we can also talk about partial fractions. Okay, partial fractions. When we talk about partial fractions, very simple. Let me give you this idea. Assuming I have 3 over 5, and I write this as 1 over 5 plus 2 over 5, then I ask you, is this the same as this? Yes, of course. I can express 3 over 5 as a simpler fraction as I can express it as what? 1 over 5 plus 2 over 5, which is the same as this 3 over 5. So being able to express a polynomial, okay, to be equal to just a combination of two or the addition of two fractions, which are also polynomials, we say we express it as what? Partial fractions. And we have so many, and then we have different types of partial fractions. We have ones with um, the denominators being linear. The other one is the denominators being what? A quadratic function. Okay, and then the other one is um, a denominator which has what? Repeated factors. And then when it is an improper fraction, we also have a way of writing it as what? Uh, let's say uh, a partial fraction. Okay? So when it is an improper fraction, we try and then do the normal division. We have our quotient, then we have the divisor, and then our dividend. We just express it that way. And then we solve it as what? Partial fractions. Now, let's go ahead and then solve some examples under partial fractions. 